So before we explore working with the KO2, let's take a quick look at the hardware over here. Now this device can be battery powered. If you open up this compartment over here, you'll see that you can place four batteries and clearly I don't have any batteries right now. So the power is coming in from USB. So as long as you have a USB source for power, you can power this up. You do not need to have batteries plugged in. There's an on off switch over here, sideways, so you can turn it on or off. Output on 1 8 inch, stereo output. There's also an input also on 1 8 inch. MIDI in out as well as sync in out, also on 1 8 inch connectors. So you will need some kind of adapter if you want to connect your 5 pin devices. But interestingly, you can also use the USB for MIDI. So if you connect this to your computer, you will get MIDI as well as sync. And we'll take a look at an example of that. Now, there is an input to sample, but we also have a microphone built in, so you can sample directly using that microphone. Of course, there's a tiny speaker here that can be used in a pinch, but you'll get a better signal by using the main output here. All right, now let's talk about this bottom section here is where you have all the main controls. The middle section here is the screen, and that'll show you different aspects of what uh, you're controlling at any given moment. So for example, let's say if I just move the slider, you can see some activity over there. So I'm adjusting the level of a particular group. There are four groups here. We'll talk about this in more detail later on. But these are the main pads or, well, technically not pads, just buttons. They are velocity sensitive. There are three main modes for the KO2. There's the main mode where you're basically gonna be in most of the time. Then there's the sound mode when you're loading in samples and swapping out sounds. There's this tempo mode to adjust tempo. Now, below the three buttons, you can see there's text written over there. So I can access that option by holding down shift. So for example, if I wanna access that loop mode, I just have to hold down shift and tap tempo. And I can hit main to get out of that menu. Same for sound edit, hold down shift, and now I'm in the sound edit mode. We can see buttons over here and the text below that, as I mentioned, can be accessed by holding down shift. We have a couple of knobs over here. So this is the main master volume control. These two knobs will vary depending on what you're controlling, but right now, as you can see in the text, if I'm in tempo mode, this is controlling the BPM, and this is controlling the metronome volume. All right, so that's a quick look at the hardware. In the next few tutorials, we're gonna dive into working with this device.